going to run through a bunch of circle theorems. As you see them more often in problems, you will be able to get used to them. There's nothing else that you can really do other than just remember them. Embarrassingly, I'm going to have to freehand a bunch of circles and I'm going to assume that you think that they are indeed circles. So let's do the first one. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's say that's the center. And that means we have a line going here and a line going here. And it hits at point A and point B. And then we have a point here where they also meet here and here. That means we have two angles. This angle is x and this angle is 2x. So the angle at the center of a circle is twice the size of the angle at the circumference when they are both subtended by the same arc. So every time you see that they are have the same arc and they're meeting at these same two points, you know that the angle here is twice the size of this. In another problem, oh my god, that's whatever. Um, you have a line going straight through the middle. Now, if I draw a triangle, any point coming off of this, if I draw it here and it meets here, this is a right angle, this is a right angle. So every angle subtended at the circumference of a semicircle by the diameter is a right angle. And then for the, for the big boy, okay, that's need a new day job. A, B. So if I take this and I go to any point and I go down to B, if I go here to any point and go down to B, if I go here to any point, go down to B, any point and down to B, this is let's say C1, this is C2, C3, C4, we can know that A, C1, B equals a, C, 2, B, which equals A, C, 3, B, which equals A, C, 4, B. So angles subtended at the circumference in the same segment of a circle are equal. Points C1, C2, C3, C4 on the circumference are subtended by the same arc, which is this distance here, of A, B. Simple.